All right, problem uh, 2.15, it says calculate V and I X in the circuit. Okay, so we have to find V and I, so current and V, but lucky enough, we have a uh, voltage, uh, current dependent voltage source, so we can figure out I X uh, in that sense, right? So loop one, or loop left, the one on the left. So it's negative 10 V plus V, and plus 4v, right? So what does v give us? And uh, so 6, negative 6, so v equals uh, 6v, right? Okay, and for the second part, so vr, so it's a v left, I mean loop r, loop, loop l, loop r. Loop r is, uh, so we're going, all right, so I draw the loop in the wrong direction. So actually, we have to draw it this way because that is the direction of the current. Right, we have to follow the current, which is uh, plus 4v, okay, minus 3ix, and uh, minus 16. That whole thing give us zero, okay? So, this, this, this is uh, 12, so it's 12v equals, uh, equals minus 3ix, right? So divided by uh, negative 3 by both sides, it should give you negative 4v. Uh, or negative four uh, I, right? Just ampere. Okay, uh, and that's it. This is uh, how we solve the problem. I think it's mainly just uh, give us a little bit of a change in situation. Have a, uh, a dependent source, right? This is a control source, a voltage, a, a current dependent voltage source. But if we're able to see that, we're able to just use one of the laws to solve the entire thing instead of using two. Okay. Hopefully uh, this video was helpful and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.